viewers, it's Super GT here. Welcome to Gran Turismo Sport. We're going to do a couple of races in Group 4 around the Nürburgring Grand Prix circuit. So I'm going to show you three races. In the first one, we're going to drive Nissan GTR. Second place on the grid, so obviously not pole position, but second place is obviously the next best position. It could be worse as we go into Turn 1. A very sharp corner here at Nürburgring, the first, uh, first corner. Ferrari on the inside gets absolutely mullered in the rear end and this Viper that comes through, the Green Viper, he's going to be the real star of the show. He's going to be the one that um, features prominently in this first race. As you can see already, uh, he's going very wide. Ferrari comes back on, We're going to make contact with the uh, Viper under, under some shoddy braking, it must be said. Now, he's going to take a really awesome line if it was Rallycross, but it's not. Uh, so settling into third place, the leader is long gone already. Look at that, he's just developed a massive gap. Almost gets swiped from behind. Thankfully get away with that one. So third place. And we're going to come down the hill. Get a, get a good exit actually compared to the Viper. Is it going to be enough? It looks like we're evenly matched for speed coming down the hill. Get on the brakes. Pretty much at the same time. Just going to edge my way in. And there it is. And we're going to look on the exit. Just run him out. Just give him a car whip though on the exit, just so that he doesn't actually have to go onto the gravel. And then taking the curb on the entry to the Schumacher S. He's just going to slot in ahead. There it is. The Ferrari with a bit of a bump from behind. That actually helps me, if anything. Looking for the two cones on the right-hand side. There they are. That's where the breaking point is. The Viper a little bit wide. It's not going to take the best line through there. Going to lose a bit of time. Ferrari sends it. No messing about from him. No hesitation at all. And he's going to lose a bit of momentum as a result on the exit. And that is going to cost him, as you'll see here. Or you'll hear it. There we go. Uh, the Ferrari loses the position, goes down into fifth. I've got Italians swarming all over my rear end. And not for the first time. So through the chicane. Good job through there. It's all kicked off. It's all kicked off behind. And halfway down uh, lap number two. We can now thankfully focus on going forwards rather than defending. So the Viper a little bit wide through there. First place, as you can see, going through the Schumacher S already, a good couple of seconds ahead. Maybe three or four seconds ahead already. In fact, it is four seconds, it's about 4.2 seconds ahead. So through the Schumacher S, through there fairly evenly with the Viper. Moving back to the right-hand side to try to take the racing line. There it is, on the brakes nicely. We're going to slot in behind here. Just be patient, I guess, unless first place really kills himself. Second place might be the best shot here of a result. So I'm going to tuck into that slipstream the best we can. We are right on him as close as we could possibly be. Pull out to the left-hand side. Go for that move. We're going to at least look for it as we go into the chicane for the second time. There it is. It's a decent move. I'm going to hold him off. And then as we come through in second place, I'm actually going to get demoted back to third place. He's just completely cut the corner. And then as he comes on, he's got the cheek just to run me off the track. So, you know, cut the corner, then just run run your opponent straight off the track. Good work, mate. Yeah, nice one. So, we're going to look for that move. We can't let this guy beat us because that's, that would be an atrocity against against humankind. Not just racing, against, against humanity, quite frankly. Because uh, that's one of the worst things I've ever witnessed, ever. Up the inside we go. It's a good move. But then he's just going to help me on my way and then retake the position. So... Anytime I go past, he, he's just not having it at all. Absolutely just not playing ball on this race at all. Going very wide, taking the total noob line through uh, turn two and three. And then through uh, turn number four. He actually didn't run out too wide that time, so not taking the rally cross line every lap. Just, just some of the laps, which is, well, too many of the laps. Into the next chicane. Two balls over the curb, nicely through there. I kind of got used to the camera now. I mean, it does look really stiff. Lots of people commenting, it looks it looks too stiff. It looks really weird. The sound's not that good. Um, I can understand your analysis because when, when you watch Forza videos, as, as we, let's just commentate on this. Up the inside, going to brutally just push him out of the way. Kind of deserves that, if anything, though. Um, yeah, this this game, obviously, there's not as much carnage compared to Forza where you just have 10 car pileups every two corners. It's not going to quite be like that. But the racing... I mean, this guy is an absolute idiot. But the racing can be a lot closer and more respectful. Not obviously in this case. As we go up into the next turn. It's, it's just not a clean move. 
he's just going to come through with plenty of contact. I suppose I did the same to him a couple of corners ago, but then again, he deserved it because he's an absolute moron, driving like a, like a twat, quite frankly. So down the main straight, or down the back straight, then through the kink. It's lap three of number four, or lap three or four. One more left after this. Looking up the inside, just in case it opens up, he doesn't. And then for some reason, I, I don't know what possessed him, um, but he just completely just just forgets about the chicane, just straight lines it. Why the hell not? Gains a couple of seconds, but then one lap later, he he wasn't that good. I was straight back on him once again. I mean, this guy qualified fourth. I was about half a second quicker than him qualifying, so I should have caught up really. Into the chicane, up the inside. We just make contact, and then he's gonna go across, and now I'm gonna get a 10 second penalty for that. And we're gonna see later how that exact same thing happens the other way around, but the other guy doesn't get a penalty. Uh, so there is inconsistency, and it it is frustrating, especially when the guy like that kind of beats you. He does cross the line in second. I kind of slowed right down to get my penalty served. I went down to, to fourth, but eventually third. That guy, um, Mr. Von Bister in the Viper, he had like 22 seconds worth of penalties, and he finished ninth in the end. I really, I, I'm not sure what the hell he was thinking. I mean, who knows? Who really knows what the hell these people are thinking? So I'm going to go defensive here in the Atenza into turn one. The Ma the, the McGann. <laughs> wow. Um, what can you say about that? Just obviously way too late on the brakes. Absolutely murders the pole sitter. The poor Italian has been killed at turn one. Surely this guy should go to prison. But no, he's just going to nonchalantly carry on and um, try to finish the race. So settling into second place. Our main competition, the pole sitter, so obviously the fastest person qualifying, is now dead at turn one. Or well, he's probably back there somewhere. We don't know exactly. He's probably seventh or eighth. I think he was Italian. So looking at the scores on the left hand side, I think he's seventh or eighth. One of those two, or possibly further back. It was quite a brutal shunt. Anyway, second place then, coming down the hill towards the hairpin for the first time. So a quick four lap race here. Just under nine minutes it should take you if, if you're fairly quick and don't get totally abused in your rear end too many times. Through the hairpin, the McGann taking a poor line. We saw this in the Sao Paulo video. You might have watched my Sao Paulo video uh, last Saturday. The McGann is a bit off through the corners, but is totally OP in a straight line. It's just really annoying coming, up, uh, coming up against this car because it really is so balanced differently. Into this corner. And he's just gonna just gonna punt me off basically. It was a fair move up the inside, and he's just gonna show me wide. Absolutely zero class or respect from this guy. This guy is this race's version of the Green Viper guy, basically. It's, it's a repeat. And I've somehow attracted myself to the idiots. It's like I've just got an extra strong magnet on my car. And it's you know, it just it repels good people and it just pulls in morons like this guy. So we're going to pull away slightly from third place at least. And we're going to be locked into a, a lengthy race battle with this guy. Coming through turn number two, right, right on his tail. Into turn three, as I said earlier, we've got the handling advantage up the inside. And then a hug in the apex through turn four, cutting across. He actually backed out. I was so surprised he did that. I was um, fully prepared to get killed. But... Um, Thankfully not. In first place then, is it going to be long before I get shunted from behind? Probably not. As we come then through the right hand. Uh, missing the apex a little bit, but you can get on the power really early. And that's the, thing, the main thing I noticed in this game. Get on the power early. It will help you. So, into the chicane. You see how big that gap was behind. On the brakes nicely. But no, he's obviously braked way too late. And I'm just going to have to go across. So that is very similar to the incident that happened in the first race. So... Of, actually, in fact, it was worse because he was nowhere near and then just shunted me wide. Whereas in the previous race, I was kind of alongside and then we made contact. And we're going to see later on that he doesn't actually get a penalty at all unless he serves them somehow. But he doesn't get a penalty for that and for this because coming into turn one, I'm going to go defensive once again. And then on the brakes, exactly where I'm meant to be, if anything, a little bit earlier because you should do when you're taking the inside line and then smash. He's just going to push me wide. Has the cheek just to just to round me off. I get reset. It was that bad. I got reset, and then down into fourth place. You're gonna see, this is an absolute 
joke, basically, against against humanity, because there's just going to be no penalty for him for that, unless he serves them. But I don't think he did because you lose so much time. Unless it was like a two-second penalty, um, which obviously um, would be a case of the punishment not fitting the crime. This is lap number three. Then we're behind the Lamborghini. We found ourselves embroiled in a battle here for second place, the second spot on the podium. The first first guy is just around the corner, not too far. I mean, it could be worse, I suppose, but it doesn't look like we'll be able to catch him because it's only one more lap to go. And the Lamborghini then uh, up into second. I mean, I did shove him a little bit wide through the left-hander, but he kind of recovered and then went for the move. So could have ended fourth, but he's up into second. And now it's a, a direct drag battle between myself and the Swiss guy into the chicane. Get on the brakes pretty much at the same time. I'm looking for that second apex. It wasn't going to happen because he was, he was just there. There's no way I could have done it. We made contact and I'm through then into third place. Try my best. McGann coming through on the inside for the final turn. Now this this Lamborghini, he's just going to break. Move to the left again and then he's just going to break. And, and then he's just, he's just going to break again. Oh my god, that's <laughs> so frustrating. He was, um, I think he was just trying to serve his penalty. So that's a very good reason not to slipstream people. Because they might just be serving their penalty and brake check you in the middle of the straight. That is quite an annoying thing. So you, you do get penalties in this game and you can serve them kind of whenever you like. Um, it is a weird dynamic having people just braking on the main straight. It's not really what you expect. So that's why kind of I just got brake checked three times in a row. I perhaps should have realised after the first one what the hell was going on. Obviously, I've learned the hard way. So I'll probably be... Um, I'll be up to scratch next time it happens. So, into fourth then. We're still in fourth. There's a shorter second, I guess. I mean, you never know what's going to happen. It'd be hard to overtake both, but they could wipe each other out. It's a very, um, it's a very high chance of that happening. It is. It's been one of those races, I guess, where there's been plenty of contact. The the, the McGann up the inside, which frankly shouldn't be happening. That car just doesn't have the handling. It shouldn't have the handling anyway. On the exit, getting a good run. It's not going to be enough to get alongside though, so no point in fighting one through there. Through the Schumacher S, just going to give him a nudge, give him a boost, nitrous oxide boost. I think I've helped him with anything, um, but I'm going to lose a bit of time there because now the Italian behind, this guy is driving with a hot head. He's, he's angry. This is the guy that got murdered at turn one by the Frenchman who's now winning the race. So he's got a point to prove. He's, he's fighting back. He's going to run out of laps here, but he might have got through to second had he had another lap or two. So, through the kink, up to the chicane, the final time of four on the brakes. Not too much to report here. Everyone getting through there fairly clean this time. No one going for stupid lunges. Uh, the McGann a little bit slow on the exit. Let's look to the inside. The Italian kind of tries to run him narrow, but the McGann is just going to run him out wide. Oh, just the just the typical GT Sport move where you just run your opponent out onto the gravel and then the Frenchman wins the race the Frenchman didn't have a penalty he had no penalty after all that so pushing me off through the chicane pushing me off at turn one pushing off the Italian at turn one I let him know you are awful learn to race properly to which he said y you block me many time and break so hard which I, I don't really get it I mean obviously you break hard you're going to press the brake pedal, aren't you, to go into a corner. And I wasn't blocking, you know, it's just called defending. You're supposed to drive around it, not push them off the track. Oh, well. Is is clean racing possible? Is it, is it possible? It might be. Maybe. Somewhere. Once I improve my driver rating up into A or S, and then perhaps I will be not getting matched up with these fast but stupid people, basically. So coming down towards the hairpin, looking at the outside of the Lamborghini is a good move and he's just going to show me why. To be fair, yeah, okay, I didn't really have much alongside him there, so no worries. Take two though, lap number two, we're going to go for a repeat and then go up the outside. Look around the outside, I've got the position there. With I'm more, In fact, I was ahead for part of that and then he just kind of showed me off the track and it's, it's too easy to do on this game. Unfortunately, once someone is alongside you, you can just easily just push them off to the side and you don't really get a penalty for it. 
and it's, it's really easy to, for people to abuse that. It's quite annoying when people do that, and it's very common. Anyway, the last lap, you see how close it is. I was going, I was looking for a clean move, looking, and if it wasn't on, I wasn't going to go for it. And into the hairpin, into chicane, sorry. Get on the brakes, we're pretty much even. To be fair, this guy was very fast, and it was just that one move at the hairpin which was a bit strong, but it could have been worse. I mean, he didn't punt me off or cut corners. So I, I suppose this race, it was a good race, and at the end, um, yeah, just hard racing from him. Maybe a bit strong, but not illegal. So so a good race in the end, second place, which would be my best one. So a fourth, a third, and a second. So unfortunately not a win, so no victory dance for you today, but it's just... Um, going to show you the good and bad side of GT Sport. You can have a lot of bad um, moronic racing but you can also have some some clean ones too. But that is it guys. Thank you very much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed this video as always. It's obviously sub if you're new and smash the like button if you did enjoy. I shall see you next time. Goodbye.